God is becoming oppressive, unreasonable. Muhammad acts like as if he is a, a um, what is it, uh, <clears throat> union leader on our behalf negotiates. And Moses is the wise man that uh, advises Muhammad on this such a stupid, silly issue. This is the longest story in Bukhari. This should be enough for you to reject this Bukhari, but that's not enough. What but others? Earth science and cosmology. The Quran, incredible verses about sciences, about cosmology, about embryology, and many other verses, incredible. And mathematical structure of the Quran by itself is incredible. But in order to see them, you need to have an open mind, open heart. If you have precious look at it, you will not see it. That's like a random dots, 3D picture made of random dots. If you just ignore it, if you make fun of it, you don't stand in front of it, try to understand it, you will not see 3D pictures in that stereograms. The same exactly with this. Only those who have qalbin salim, good intention, good heart, they will be able to see. Those who save themselves from polytheism, they want God alone. Alayhi Allahu bi kafin abdah. Isn't God enough for his servant? Anyway, earth sciences, cosmology, I want to uh, share with you a few verses of the Quran and then compare it to Hadith. When you look at the mountains, you think that they are standing still, but they are moving like the clouds. Such is the art and construction of God who perfected everything. He's fully cognizant of everything you do. Rotation. And uh, he made the earth edge-shaped. Well, Arda ba'da zalika dahaha. This had uh, the early translator interpreter of the Quran had problem with that to understand how daha, the dahia is egg. And um, still in North America, this word is kept the same. And uh, dahia means egg. But they couldn't understand this and because they became more ignorant than the early Muslims because of hadith and other stupid teachings. And then they start to say, well, this might be the nest where you put the egg. Hmm, egg nest. <laughs> the haha made it egg-shaped. Um, he rolls the night over the day. You kawiru layla ad nahar. You kawiru, kawara, kure means fear, comes from there. Kawara means roll around. Well, I'm not saying this was a novel idea before Muhammad even many people, and not many people, uh, people who were critical thinkers, they knew that the earth must be wrong. But majority of people still believed that earth was flat and stuff, but the Quran, in whatever sciences, the Quran always hit the right target. Many of people who believed that earth was wrong, they also had some superstition, very crazy ideas. But in the Quran, you don't see a single one. Maurice Bukhail is very to the point in his book. Very interesting. He says, the Quran in many, many sides, not a single contradiction with the modern discoveries, findings, proved, uh, proven facts of the uh, sciences. And another one, 2130, is about Big Bang. Do the unbelievers not realize that heaven and the earth used to be one solid mass that we exploded into existence? We in separating from each other, like someone had hernia, it's called fatq. To separate from one point, very interesting, exactly like singularity, 13.7 billion years ago, everything started from a single point, infinitely it is described as infinitely dense and infinitely small and point. Very interesting. And the Quran has open universe model. There are now more inclination towards closed model, but the Quran supports the... No, I'm sorry, just the opposite. And the Quran supports the closed uh, universe model, says we will bring back uh, like the, pay, uh, the book, like closing the book. And uh, and le God says we are expanding the universe. There is Big Bang here, expansion of the universe. Musun is continuously expanding. Musun, and then in uh, some people try to distort the meaning as wasiun. No, it's not wasi. It's musiun. We are expanding it. It's a transitive. Uh, this is some translations of the Quran. Oh, God has great uh, kind of power stuff. No, it is Musa. 
and then in other one we are going to bring it back. That will close model. Today scientists, some uh, it is controversial. Some scientists think maybe the amount of matter in universe is not enough to keep, and it may expand forever. But if there is enough matter in the universe, it may come back. And the Quran says it will come back. Closed universe model. Here is uh, Ibn Kasir, which is well known that it is interpretation of the Quran based on Hadith. Says the world is standing on top of a whale. When the whale shakes its head, earthquake occurs. Ibn Kasir commentary of the Quran under the light of Hadith, on verses chapter two, verse twenty nine, and chapter sixty eight, verse one. He gives this explanation. Messenger, according to the Quran, the messenger of God has set up a good example for those among you who seek God and last day and constantly think about God. Chapter 33 to 21. Surely you are blessed with a great moral character for Prophet Muhammad. Say, I am no more than a human like you, being inspired that your God is one God. A moment ago I was looking for this one. Chapter 18, verse 110. Chapter 41, verse 6. And then we have, sent, uh, we have sent you out of mercy from us towards the whole world. And then another, uh, this is chapter 20, verse 107. And then lastly, another verse, we are fully aware of what they hear when they listen to you. And when they conspire secretly, the disbelievers say, you are following a crazy man. Note how they describe you and how this causes them to stray off the path. Chapter 7 verse 47 and 48. Here is according to Hadith, Bukhari. The messenger had the sexual power of 30 men. Bukhari, uh, book 4, 13, Hadith number 13. This may change, I uh, confuse someone from Turkish books, different versions. Therefore, it's not as standard as the Quran, like chapter, verse numbers of the Quran. Therefore, you can put these keywords and check and ask uh, scholars, especially who are uh, not kind of uh, the ones uh, who are in West, because in West sometimes they tend to hide those things. Don't trust them fully. And another one in Bukhari says, when the messenger married with Aisha, he was 55 years old and Aisha was six years old. Oh my God. Shame on you. Shame on Bukhari, number one enemy of Prophet Muhammad, together with Abu Huraira, whatever, phantasmoric character or real character, regard whether it's real character, who is an enemy of Prophet Muhammad. According to own hadith, these hadith books, Bukhari was rejected by Umar bin al-Khattab, the second caliph, and he was kicked out from masjid. Kicked out from masjid, and Umar, according to your own hadith, I don't care about this hadith, I don't need it. Some People who have problem with thinking, they say, Edith, why you are talking about hadith? You don't believe hadith. Good news, to show your contradiction. What is this? What is that? And according to your own hadith, Omer kicks him out and says, are you going to, he was writing a hadith, are you going to create a Mishnah for this? Um, Mishnah means another source besides Torah, when Jewish people create it. Are you going to create another? He kicks him out. According to, again, this hadith book, Sunni hadith books, Aisha ibn Abbas both claimed that uh, Abu Huraira was a liar. And Abu Huraira takes revenge from them too. By fabricating hadith against dogs, because ibn Abbas has had a dog that fit the uh, description of uh, Abu Huraira that is supposedly bad dog, you should not touch it and stuff. It is an infirm dog. <laughs> because he had his, he, he, and then Aisha takes revenge uh, from Aisha by fabricating hadith against the leadership of women. Because Aisha, uh, there was some leadership qualities in her. How incredible it is. And whatever it says, Em lahum kitabun tadrusun. Do you have a book you study? Wa lahum fi ma takhayyaru. Em lahum kitabun tadrusun. Yeah, no. In, in that book, there is anything that you want. Exactly. You can find anything. You can find Prophet Muhammad, great guy. Very smart, very ignorant, very idiot. Harsha. You find mercy and 
for example, in Taif, they are stoning him, he prays to them. And in another one, he gouges the eyes of people. We'll talk about those hadiths. An incredible contradictory, whichever you pick. And they pick. They pick and choose. If you want to be violent, you can justify through hadith. If you want to become nice, you can justify through hadith. If you want to become stupid, you can justify with hadith. With smartness, nope, you cannot really justify with hadith. <laughs> I haven't seen much smart hadith, unfortunately. Especially when you go to the Rudy's book, did Satan mix the poison with the sugar and candy stuff? Even poison and stuff has blemishes that you don't even see them or the germs there. It is absolutely polluted and uh, contaminated. The messenger was making sexual intercourse with all his nine wives in a single night, Bukhari. And this guy wants me to follow this book. Follow Muhammad, follow, I'm sorry, the Quran never says follow Muhammad, in fact, follow messenger. Message, messenger, Rasul, Risala, Risala, instead of the Quran, instead of the Quran, which is here, this is the index of the Quran, the Quran is inside here too. And instead of following the Quran, which is message that Muhammad brought, chapter 6, verse 19, and many other verses. In fact, there is verses, uh, list of verses in chapter uh, 5, verse 48 and up it talks about how some people want to take away muhammad from the quran judgment of the quran and the quran warns muhammad they want to to let you judge they want you to judge outside of the quran and judge among them according to the quran if you follow their wishes you will be punished that's incredible and this gentleman here distort the verses of the quran well boom says, follow this nonsense. Bukhari, Muslim, the enemies of Prophet Muhammad who came centuries later. Another one, the messenger sent a troop after the murderers. When they were brought, he ordered their hands and legs to be cut. He later gouged their eyes with hot nails and left them dying under the sun. The messenger ordered his companions not to give them water, Bukhari, and repeated many times, one, two, three times, at least I found. And another one, this is, is this the messenger that the Quran will send you as a mercy for humanity? What kind of mercy is this? If this video finishes, there will be a second part. I will specifically deal with this uh, supposedly defense of Hadith against the Quran alone. And hopefully we'll have time for that one. The wish by, uh, and uh, of course it contradicts the verses of the Quran. The best example of the Quran is mentioning the Quran. There is good example in God's messenger for you. It is in the context. They take out of the context as if this verse referring to these books, which gives the worst example. This cannot be a good example to follow. Gouging people's eyes with hot nails, having sexual intercourse with a six years old or nine years old even, why you are this, why you are not following these hadith. Why in, we are not following this sunnah? You try stupid things, enter the bathroom with left foot and brush your teeth with this uh, wood and stuff. This is supposed to sunnah and grow beard as if beard has anything to do with the message of the messenger. Abu Jail, Abu Lahab, they were all bearded, they had turbans in their hand. They were uh, religious people, uh, very religious people. But you don't follow this sunnah. Why you don't give your six or nine or ten, uh, twelve years daughter to a fifty years old, fifty-five years old haji? Why don't you give? I want to see you giving that. Shame on you. But you will be ready, maybe all of you in line, to get one of those girls. Pedophiles. The enemy of Prophet Muhammad you are. Shame on you. You have the audacity to accuse us not loving Prophet Muhammad, not following him. But by following those fabrication, those lies, you are the biggest enemy of Prophet Muhammad. In the day of judgment, Prophet Muhammad will reject you. وَقَالَ رَسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا The Prophet will say, my people have deserted the Quran. You turn Islam, the system of peace to listen to system of oppression aggression the one that encourages us to reason 
But rather than reason, be stupid and follow like a muqallid any stupid story. The religion that defended women's right, there is whole chapter about women's right, you distorted the meaning of some of verses. And then, through hadith, you put women next to animals in the same category. Here is hadith in Bukhari, in fact several hadith, there is even contradiction in that stupid hadith. Lahwal hadith. Um, it says, uh, if uh, dog, black dog, I don't know what is black dog, black dog should be killed according to hadith. And if you want to get more so of, you should kill a lot of lizards too. And uh, black dog, uh, dog, donkey, and, uh, and a woman passes in front of your prayer, your prayer is nullified. It doesn't tell men will be nullifying women's prayer. No, it's only about women. But which category? Category of donkey, which is not really esteemed well <laughs> in that culture, and also dog, if it is black should be killed, it is devil. If it's not black, should avoid because they are dirty. If they touch your hand and stuff, you have to wash it with a uh, ceremonial way, with the uh, soil several times. Huh? The woman is in the same category. In another hadith, the same Bukhari is pig. Instead of donkey, I think there is pig. I forgot even the combinations of these lies. You woman, my sister, my sister, listen. How can you support, can you defend these hadith books according to their most hadith, uh, sahih book? You are in the category of donkey, pig, and dog. Shame on you. Have a little bit of respect. Give up. True to the trash where they belong. Follow your reason first. Not the book first. Because without reason you will not understand the book without your mind. Don't give up your God-given mind. It is from birth. We are all created on fitrati Islam. It is in you. Your nature is on Islam. Islam is not contradictory to the nature. They put you in a black sack. They want to even cover your face. Take your identity away, your personality away. Isolate you, make you a slave of man. How in the world you can still stand for the I know? That you are raised from childhood with these stories. Your brain is polluted too much. I know that your identity is taken away from you. Your confidence is taken away from you. I know that you, are ta you don't have maybe financial support. You have too many oppressive men around you. They are watching you. They are obsessed with your hair whether show or not. But they are in shirt in ignorance until their eyebrows. But I hope some of you who have a little bit of opportunity to learn, to hear the truth, will listen to this and reject these enemies of Prophet Muhammad who come to you from the right side with lahwal hadith. And chapter 6, verse 112 to 116, read it. Chapter 12, verse 111, read it. It rejects hadith with reasons why it should be rejected. And uh, another one. Bewitched by a Jew from Medina, Muhammad wandered in the city for days, not knowing what he was doing. Bukhari, the enemy of Prophet Muhammad, according to the Quran, a moment ago, we, we read a verse, chapter 17, verse 47, 48, says, you are following a crazy man, Majnun. They said, exactly the same, says Muhammad was the one bewitched. Mas'hur, the Quran says, the enemies of Prophet Muhammad, the ingrates, unappreciative, the bigots, they will say Muhammad was what? The most progressive mind, the merciful person, he was bewitched, they called him. And here is Bukhari does exactly the same thing like those did. And in the name of Prophet Muhammad, he does that. Cure and diseases, according to the Quran, then eat from all the fruits, following the design of your Lord precisely from their bees. From bees' bellies comes a drink of different colors wherein there is healing for the people. This should be sufficient proof for people who reflect. Chapter 16, 69. Look at the hadith. They call it Tubbi um, Nebevi. And they even have, with straight face, they have conferences, international conferences. All they do, they indulge with a few primitive medieval so-called cures of the time, which was even before Muhammad, it was 
all Arabs, they were doing that, all, all they knew. What is it? A group from Oraina and Uqayla tribes visited Medina and converted to Islam. The weather of the city had negative effect on their health. They consulted the messenger and he advised them to drink the milk and urine of camels. Urine of camels. In fact, I discussed this with someone who is in university doing even master's degree. He tried to defend urine of camels, how it is great medicine. Maybe you can find, you can find certain benefit, maybe even SHIT, but this is urine, uric acid. I, it is application of it on body, it is different. Alcohol, you can even kill germs, but drinking alcohol is different story. <laughs> anyway, whoever eats seven dates from Ajwa region will be safe from any witchcraft and poison. Witchcraft and poison. Which date? Ajwa. Who do you think? Just think about it. Who could be uh, inventing, fabricating this story? Don't need to be really too smart or detective. The guy who had date farm, uh, date, date trees, not farm, right? <laughs> date trees in Ajwa. Promotion of is good. Use hadith as a commercial because they couldn't fabricate verses of the Quran, which according to them they did though. The one about stoning to death will come to death. The one that goat ate it according to this holy great Sahih Hadith books. They even believe in that, but they couldn't really fabricate verses of the Quran. The Quran was protected by God, but what they did, they fabricate thousands, hundreds of thousands of Hadiths to promote everything, to promote violence, to promote pedophilia, to promote uh, misogyny, to promote oppression, to promote certain leaders, and to promote ajwa. And to, to promote splitting hair into <laughs> 40 pieces, all kind of detailed, stupid rituals through hadith. If a fly falls into a vessel of any of you, let him dip all of it and then throw it away. For in one of its wings there is a disease, in the other there is healing. Even they made up story, medical stories about this, how it is really true scientifically. This is Bukhari. I read in one of, I think, Said Hava's book. And another Bukhari says, there are no contagious diseases. This is Tabi Nebavi, no contagious diseases. Bukhari, in fact, repeats several times. Uh, I think a Kitab 71-43 or Bab 71-43-45-53-54. I don't have the name of the book. Uh, the name of the book in the Bukhari. Bukhari is a collection of small booklets. And then in another one, it is in both Sahih, so-called Sahih books. Sahih means authentic, by the way, if you don't know. The cure is in three things. Bloodletting, cupping, and cauterization. Wow, what a wisdom. Bloodletting, cupping, and cauterization. <laughs> That's what is medicine. And woman. The Quran, verses of the Quran. I don't know whether I am still within time frame. Uh, let's see. Let me get a sip from here. I, sh I should stop it here and then I'll continue next time because I want to address this one. This has been too long. Go relax. Don't watch the next one now. As I said, uh, share this video with everyone and uh, Sunni Shiite stuff. And I will have also a discussion uh, with atheism on, uh, on, uh, because I am a philosopher. I think that's an important issue. I think Muslims and Christians are worst uh, representative of God in terms of, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, of course, there are some Christians, some uh, Muslims, uh, they are uh, fine, but in general I'm talking, of course. And um, also I would like to uh, later uh, uh, involved with some important social and political issues. Uh, we put together with Lais al Shaiban a constitution, Peacemakers Constitution. Please visit 19.org over there. You will see many articles. Share it through Facebook with your friends and, and organize uh, in universities. Uh, let me know uh, conferences and lectures and debates. I'm ready to debate with Christians, with the Muslims, with Islamophobes, and uh, with atheists, uh, 
on uh, basically theology and philosophical issues. Uh, thank you very much for your patience. Uh, I love it. Uh, I think I got loud, but the crimes committed in the name of Hadith throughout history <laughs> justify even much more, much more. These people, unfortunately, they hurt so many people throughout Muslim world. Look at this, the misery they have. The misery is in the minds. If they reject this, God will open the gates. Muslims are cursed all around the world. Look at 40 countries, common denominator, almost trouble. In three countries, they try to establish the Sharia, Sunni Sharia or Shiite Sharia. According, they try to be following that. Here is Saudi Arabia is a hell on earth. Iran is another hell, Shiite virgin hell. Afghanistan was hell and still hell. Unfortunately, imperialism is uh, political equivalent of that. Imperialism is very bloody, uh, very cruel, unfortunately. But look at the ignorance and oppression there in the name of God and Prophet Muhammad, the Taliban did. And interestingly, in Afghanistan, there is incredible uh, uh, abuse of uh, boys as uh, became part of the culture as a uh, homosexual relation. Big guys, they get boys and look at the many, many movies and I verified with some friends in Afghanistan. It's incredible ignorance against women and um, a lot of superstitions has nothing to do with the Quran. These people are far, far from Islam. A person in atheist is much closer to Islam than these people. Islam starts with La. First, reject all this stupid nonsense. Reject all the dogmas. No, no. Reject be an atheist or an agnostic. Not an atheist, but or, or atheist. And then, if you find evidence for something be divine, it must be extraordinary evidence. Just someone tells you from childhood, this is a book from God. It, it doesn't become from God. With the same mentality, if you're raised in a Mormon family, then the book of Moroni or Mormon's book will be your what? Your, your holy book. With the same mind, if you're in India, Bhagavad Gita or some other books will be your holy book. If you were in Mexico or in Nicaragua or in the United States, most likely it will be Christian. Therefore, question. First law, start with no. Okay, thank you very much. The second, I will continue.